It's it's been a day dealing with the the Tumblr apocalypse. Yeah, that's. I mean, I haven't used my Tumblr in at least a year. I think I never really understood it because I'm old. Male presenting nipples. I have never understood why your stupid fucking useless vestigial nipples are okay. But mine are demons from the pit that will corrupt people that's only, if they see them. That's only really a U.S. thing, too. Yeah, it's not like that anywhere else. No. Shit, what was it? For the longest time, you could go to, in the U.K., you could go to, like, the newsstand, the actual newspaper, page six, titties! Yeah, lady on it, yeah. Yeah. They didn't give a and shit. We're, like, we're, like, super puritanical about sex. But we super love fucking violence. Oh. Like, God forbid a kid see a breast. Well, but he, if they see, like, 42 dudes get beheaded with a backhoe, that's okay. Here's another thing about it. If you zoom in close enough, it is really hard to discern a male nipple from a female nipple. So how do you tell if it's a male presenting nipple or a female? Do you act, do you inquire of the nipples? What 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 which way they go? I mean, you'd have to be an extreme close up. Well, to yeah, not tell. But yeah, I mean, it's it's I, if I were if if I were so inclined, they're gonna say because men don't have breasts, but at a certain weight, you do. Yeah, let's be honest. I'm not saying that as an insult. It's just biology. At a certain weight, y'all got titties too. I'm just, I, I'm just kind of wanting to see someone put up a tumbler that's just nothing but close-ups of nipples, just to frustrate the system. <laughs> like, which one is it? You can't tell. As far as you're concerned, they're all male presenting. Go fuck yourself, Tumblr. Yeah. Hmm. All I'm right. Just sick of, I'm just sick of fucking nipple segregation. Not that I'm dying to walk around topless, because I'm not. It's just the principle of the thing. <laughs> like, it's literally, they look the fucking same, no matter who they're on. A nipple. But a if nipple. you have a dick, they're okay. Oh. I shouldn't say if you have a dick. If you present as male, they're okay. How can you t just, you have to ask the nipples. What the fuck is excuse this stupid me, shit, Tumblr? Excuse me, are you a boy nipple or a girl nipple? Because if you're a girl nipple, you have to go away. All right. Well. Shouldn't be flipping off the camera. My nails aren't done. That horribleness <laughs> done. Let's get into our <laughs> other horribleness. Let's go. Each week. Catherine and Dee. Where you dead our audience go out in the worldwide interwebs back all sorts of horrible stuff for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you and we're going to start not with a story to start this week but we are going to begin our uh holiday watch um just to inform you all uh we have a special thing started yesterday happy hanukkah happy hanukkah to everyone um but this is not a happy hanukkah this is a horrible thing um huh. we we need to we, we do this every year because it is one of the most ridiculous things that happens in the entire world over the holidays and uh, it, it's our, now our our vigil begins. And now our watch begins. Yeah, that's that's it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is the time for the gavel uh, gavel goat has has begun. Uh, for those of you joining us for the first time ever, welcome to you. Uh, let's explain what's going on here. Sweden, the uh, the, the the town of uh, Gavel. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I apologize. But it's sweet, so probably not. But I wouldn't. Gobble, gobble. Hey, yeah. Probably Every like year, for many, many years, uh, decades, uh, they have a tradition in this town of building a giant straw goat, which everyone is out there. That's not so weird. Which they use to hide from the big bad wolf. <laughs> The brick goat, much more effective, but they don't have to build that every year. Unfortunately, this is not a this is not the story of a weird and festive culture 
tradition. This is a war because every year there is a war on Christmas, <laughs> but only in Sweden. There is a tradition just as old as putting the goat up. And that tradition is setting the goat on fire. Burning that motherfucker down for more years than they for uh, more for the entire length of time they've been putting up the goat. More often than not, someone has burned the goat down. This is this is a kind of a battle between people who want the goat to stay up all Christmas. And we've never found out why, have we? They never really found out why. It's just a thing. Like we don't even know if it's the same people every year. No. Is it the anti-goat brigade? Are there people that think it's satanic? Pronunciation is Gevla. Thank you. I appreciate that. Gevla goat. I don't Um, know. Why do they do a Christmas goat anyway? I don't know. Of course, it doesn't always get burned down. One year it was stolen with a car. (laughs) Just it's it's just this. It, it's, they put the goat up. Someone tried, and they, there's there is a war that goes back. So we have begun our watch. The goat is up. Let's see if it lasts. If it makes its way. Good luck, goat. <laughs> I think 2018 is your year, man. Well, it made it through last year. Yeah. Which was a rare what, occurrence. What the fuck else made it out of 2017? Not a lot. Not even David Bowie. Not Bowie. Not Prince. Not Democracy. But the goat mating, man. Well, let's let's get let's move on to uh, all these horrible things, and let's let's start with we got Vidya. We're starting with Vidya, awfully horribly. Um, let's see, I need to get the video up. Doot, doot. They should do a Doctor Who episode about the goat. They should. That would be Where, a good like, episode. She goes back every year and tries to save the goat, and never does. Um, yeah. It never works. Or she's the one having to burn the goat because it's secretly evil. Because it's secretly full of aliens some or some shit. terrible alien. That would be hilarious. All right. And so she has a sacred duty to burn the goat every year. Well, that speaking, speaking I of... I don't watch Doctor Who, but that would be good. Speaking of burning things, uh, let's take a look at this. This comes from a deli in New York. Um, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. My apologies. Um, police are searching for a woman who was caught on video torching items inside a Philadelphia store. An identified woman was inside the, uh, Wincote Beer Deli. The owner of the deli, uh, Yang Lin, told NBC10 the woman wanted beer but didn't have any money. When he didn't give her the beer, Lin said the woman got angry and threw glass toward him. I said, you need to get out of here, you know. She was more angry. She see me go out. She wanted to fight me. The woman then took a can of hairspray from her pocketbook, ignited it with a lighter. Surveillance video shows her burning items on the front counter of the store. Lynn said he had to run from the counter to avoid being burned. The woman then left the store. No one was injured in the incident. What the fuck is wrong with you? Madam. I don't know if you understand how, how, how our society works. We live in a society. We live in a society. And in this society, if you want goods and services from a business, you have to give them money. If you don't have money, you don't get their shit. Or on occasion, barter does work. Sometimes. So if it is usually allowed. Not, usually not at the beer no, Please. but if, if all parties are amenable, barter is acceptable. But this was not you did not offer him anything of value except fire. Fire <laughs> is very easy to acquire. It is not high yeah. on the barter scale. And he doesn't have a big straw goat, so he's not interested in your fire. It's just, yeah, I don't want to pay for the beer. Just give it to me. And as expected, this place is loaded with cameras. Yep. And you got some bright ass hair. And there she is. You can see her. They're they're looking for her right now. So if you're in Philadelphia and you have any information about this very very stupid person, please share it with your local authorities. Bring Be- her in, pretty. Cause yeah. <laughs> How long before Gritty's like an honorary Avenger? <laughs> <laughs> I just 
I just why why setting why set the why? That's not reasonable at all. It's not even you know what? It's not even a proper robbery at that point. No, she didn't take anything. No. If you're gonna commit a felony anyway, and the original core you haven't even solved your core problem because your core problem was you wanted deer right so if you're already going to commit a crime solve your core problem and steal some beer yeah this is this is the wrong right this walked out with no fucking beer it's the wrong crime you've committed the wrong crime you went in attempting to to commit theft you committed arson how do you fuck up that what (laughs) How do you fuck that up? That's the wrong crime. You've committed the absolute wrong. How do you, it's just, the, the, how do you mix those two up? Oh man, I meant to steal the stuff. I set things on fire again. And how does this keep the happening? Ball. The balls to walk into a liquor store and be like, yo, I don't have any money, but give me some shit. No. No, that's, that's, no, that's not how it, oh. Well, we, like most businesses are required to give you water because it's illegal to deny someone water. Yeah. So if you went to a place and said, can I have a glass of water? And they said, no, you would have a valid complaint on your hands. Beer is not necessarily for life. Well, no, you can you can totally live your whole life without beer. It's it's a thing I, that's possible. I wouldn't call that living per se. Like my mom was a diabetic, so she couldn't drink. And I'm telling you, she had a happy 30, 40 years as a diabetic without any booze, without any beer. Oh, well, let's let's move from uh, Philadelphia to Miami. Oh, God. You're mad at me for that. <laughs> Every everyone beer is gross. You shut your mouth. Yeah, also, um, nobody drinks beer because it tastes good. Beer doesn't taste good. Beer tastes like ass. You drink it because it's cheap and you get fucked up like Come on. You like, you enjoy the taste of beer? Depends on the beer, but yeah. You're a liar. I am not a liar. I or do. you have fucking beer Stockholm syndrome. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> You're just sympathizing with your captor. Oh, let's move on to Florida. And this is one of those. I don't even know what to classify. This is, this is a new one. This is, I think this is a new one. Um. Oh god, I screwed up the link. I must Reds have... isn't beer, it's hard cider. Someone's like Reds is good, that's not beer though. It's hard cider. It's not the same thing. Th- this is I think I think this is new. Officials, woman passes gas at dollar store, pulls knife on offended man. A Florida woman faces an aggravated assault charge after authorities say she passed gas in line at a dollar store. And pulled a knife on a man who complained about it. Citing a Broward Sheriff's Office report, the Miami Herald reports the 37-year-old Shin- uh, Shinetta Yvette uh, Wilson passed gas while waiting in line at a dollar store Sunday night and upset a nearby customer. Reports say the offended customer Wilson then got into an argument in reference to the defendant farting loudly. It says, Wilson then pulled a small folding knife out of her purse and told the victim she was going to, quote, gut him while moving as if to attack him. Wilson was arrested and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to to kill. It's unclear if she has a lawyer. (laughs) Yeah, Reflex says, he who smelt it got shanked. Everything about that is wrong. Hmm. Everything. About what? Okay, please elaborate. I don't. I don't want. To, I mean, <laughs> dollar stores kind of smell bad anyway. You don't need to make it worse. You know, if if I was in public, if you have to relieve yourself in public. You do so quietly. Well, even if I did, even if one just blasted out of me without, like, oh my god, my first thought, my first inclination would be, oh my god, I'm sorry. Not, I will fucking cut you. No, it'd be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry that came out of my butt. (laughs) Please forgive me from the depths of my soul. I did not mean to do that to you. 
I have to live with it. I know how bad it is. I would not do that to any other person willingly. I, that is a war crime, what I just did. I'm so sorry. I would leave. I would just fucking leave in, in horror and shame. Sorry for Sarah right now. <laughs> Okay, well, to be fair, she all, Sarah also has Loki, and he he puts all he 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 is the master of the crop duster. Wow, that dog is is toxic. We 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 have to fear and 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 hide from the wrath of his anus. It's it's incredible that dog. Um, he's amazing. Uh, but it, it, in this, my first impulse would be like. How dare you be angry at yeah. my No. No. Cause at this point, now not only have you and everyone knows you can, this is not one you could pass off on someone else. You can't say it was my chair. I mean, there are some people who react to humiliation with rage. Uh -huh. They're called Americans. <laughs> When we get embarrassed, we just lash the fuck out yeah. and act in an even more humiliating manner until our being an asshole is what everyone's talking about instead of whatever we did. That's not a mature way to deal with humiliation. It's not an evolved way to deal with humiliation. No. It just, it, I will cut you because you, you, that, come on. Just own up. Own up. Apologize. It was embarrassing. Move on. Now you're going to jail. Yeah. You're, you're, you could have said, oh, I am so sorry. But no. Now, now you're going to jail. Now you're going to jail. And, and when you get in jail, you have to t you'll tell everybody why you're in jail. And they're going to laugh at you. Yeah, it's going to get worse. And you're not going to have a knife. I, I cannot wait before this go to, to for this to go before a judge. I cannot wait. Just, <laughs> just that's I could see a judge quitting over this. Just, just be like, really, this is I'm done. I'm 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 done. This kind of needs to go before Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in her little lace collar and <laughs> hair, so she can just be like, what? <sighs> This oh we got another one and this is is this also Florida yeah I think this is also Florida uh let me double check um what where is this one no this is Nebraska oh the picture is kind of amazing I think this is the only picture the the report could get of the gentleman in question I I think this is the first time that the term Ace Ventura will go into a legal record um. DUI suspect floats Ace Ventura defense. And look at that picture. Boy, that, howdy. Is that Gilbert Gottfried? No. It looks like Gilbert Gottfried dressed as a hipster. A Nebraska man arrested for DUI told police he was driving, quote, like Ace Ventura when he crashed his car into a tree early yesterday morning. Rocky Dumay. Rocky Dumay, 26, was behind the wheel of a 2005 Buick Rendezvous registered to his mother at the time of the 1 a.m. crash on Lincoln Street. Uh, investigators say that Dumay's... Dumay? Dumay? I don't know. <laughs> his car veered off the road and struck an uprooted tree in the front yard of a residence. The car came to a stop after striking a nearby retaining wall. Dumay, who left the accident scene, never do that, was subsequently <laughs> taken into custody and processed for DUI. Seen above, that's just a wonderful picture there. Uh, Dumay told cops that he crashed the Buick due to, quote, inoperable windshield wipers, which forced him, like Ace Ventura, that's his own statement, to drive in the rain with his head outside the window. I... You no. know what the other option is? Hmm. You could pull the fuck over. You could. You could. 
You could just pull the fuck over until it stops raining. You could not drive while blasted. You could? That's another good idea. Wow, you, you're a genius, Tara. I swear. I know. I don't know where all these you just, it's good ideas one after another. I'm just imagining the officer. I'm just imagining him there trying to talk to the officers like, no, it's okay. It was like Ace. You've seen the movie, right? Like, that's going to, like, everything's better now? It's how you do things. No, it's not how you do things. We used to be worried about kids, like, jumping off the roof when they saw the Bugs Bunny cartoons with, like, an umbrella or, like, fighting, like, the Power Rangers. We should have been afraid of them watching Jim Carrey movies. My mom was worried about us choking on things. <laughs> we weren't allowed to have Tic Tacs because they were choked. Like, she had this little device. <laughs> I don't know if your mom had this. It was, like, a little plastic cup. And it was filled with plastic. Like, like it looked like if you turn a glass of water... This way. So it had what looked like a wedge inside and everything, every little toy, if you put it in the cup and it didn't come out the top, it was a choking hazard. <laughs> she was, I don't, she was really weirdly worried about choking hazards. So like we didn't have Lego. We couldn't eat Tic Tacs. Like. I just, well, she, she wasn't worried about us driving with our head out the window. It, it, it's like, I just, just, what's driving me nuts is he's like, oh, you know, like Ace Ventura. And with the expectation, everybody's go, oh, okay, uh, that makes sense. You're fine, sir. You can go. No, it's not going to make anything better. And even if that were a valid explanation, you were still fucking drunk. And you still left the scene of an accident. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Here's a life tip. This is a serious life tip, everybody. No matter how fucked up it is, don't ever leave the scene of an accident. Because you may not know this, but they can track that car. Yeah. And even if it's registered to your mom, they know your mom's related to you. you leaving the scene of an ask accident has escalated the severity of potential criminal charges against you. There's like getting into a fender bender with somebody and that might be you might get in trouble for that. You're definitely your insurance yeah. is going to get fucked up. But there are a lot more understanding about that than leaving. When you leave, yeah. that's when the handcuffs come out. I have gotten in accidents that were my fault mm -hmm. and I get a ticket for whatever I did wrong that caused the accident. And what you do is you fucking suck it up and you pay that ticket mm -hmm. because you fucked up. Yeah. Now let's go on to something equally inexplicable. I, 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 maybe this is kids these days. I don't understand. I hate being the guy who says kids these days. Maybe it is. I don't understand. But at the same time, kids these days. Football players suspended from team for running naked with Oreos wedged in buttocks. We have my husband to thank for this. What the fuck is going on here? That's not what double stuff means, boys. <laughs> Byron, Illinois. What cream filling means. None of that. Ten football players at a Northern Illinois high school were suspended from the team for three games last month after they ran across the field naked with Oreo cookies wedged between their buttocks. The Rockford Register Star reports the Byron High School players were suspended for indecent exposure. The school administrators concluded that they went on the Oreo run at the school's football field voluntarily and were not victims of hazing. That makes it worse in a way. Because yeah. that's the kind of thing I would only perhaps ever do under duress. To voluntarily choose to run out in the street with cookies up my butt. I guarantee you <clears throat> eight of these dudes just did it to fit in. Because when you're in high school, you will do some stupid fucking shit just to not be the loser that didn't do it. My question is for the one or two <laughs> where that wasn't the case. Like, this was someone's idea. Bro, bro, you got to put a cookie in your ass, bro. Put the cookie some, in your ass, bro. Some dude decided that what we should do today is <laughs> shove Oreos up our fucking asses and run laps. 
<laughs> and what, what and I you, don't know what's wrong with him. What universe does that sound for? Even fully clothed. In what universe is that fun? Like, what game of Mad Libs did you <laughs> fucking lose? <laughs> I don't think you can actually lose Mad Libs, but that's not the point. Like, <laughs> what LSD fever dream did this come from? Because I get, I get, maybe you just had a crazy ass dream and you wanted to act it out. <laughs> I had a dream that we lost at bar trivia, Chris Evans, and we were in my dad's hometown in Ireland. And then a giant megalodon washed up on shore of the beach outside the bar. Brains do weird things. And then a bigger shark washed up on shore and ate the megalodon. <laughs> That's. Okay, Tara, we were going this way. <laughs> Just, just, we were going like this, then all of a sudden, you're over here. That's why you have me. <laughs> that's, I, as I understand it, that's my job here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lady Minshaw said, if Cookie Monster did porn. <laughs> uh, Inugami well, Dalton. See, these cookies did not come out in one piece. <laughs> Because Oreos are not high on the structural integrity. No, no. When mass pressure is applied. No. To say nothing of moisture. This is not one you put on the college transcript. That's for damn sure. No. Why should we accept you to our institution? I put cookies in my butt and I ran naked. I just really want to know. <laughs> I want to know about the kid that had this idea. I know. I want to know what, who hurt you. He's either a genius or an idiot. What did Oreos do to you? Well, oh boy, this this next one. We got video again, and it's Florida again. Um, what percentage of our show at this point is Florida? Like seventy? Too much. This one comes to us, uh, let, let, let's have a look here. I, I've been waiting for this, to be honest, all day. Um, let me see if I can time it properly. Hey, Kool-Aid! <laughs> oh, no! A burglar was caught on camera with his pants down after he tried to rob a Hyundai dealership in Florida. Lakeland police revealed released surveillance video, the suspect breaking through the wall of a car dealership and losing his shorts in the process. The robber was able to make off with a generator, but even had trouble lugging it over the curb. Anyone with information on the crime is asked to call police at 863-834-8969. The fuck are you doing? It's more sad the longer you watch. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there, wait, wait there, there go his pants. There go oh, his pants. Oh, there they go. There oh. they go. <laughs> now, I guess uh, the first thing is, if you're going to do crime, maybe you should... Prepare your outfit a little better. Yeah, maybe you should also have a better entrance strategy than I'm gonna bust the fuck through that wall like the juggernaut. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God, he's still falling down. <laughs> oh, my God, it's so sad. <laughs> Fern points out at least he brought pants. Well, mm -hmm. kind of. Good start. This is not a young dude either. This is like No, it's not. He kind of looks like the old Six Flags guy. Yeah. Man, he's falling on hard times, huh? And I like how he's just he's all casual now. Right. What was he in there to steal? Is that a generator? Yeah. So like a car part? Well, what's he doing? What the I'm just watching him wander the fuck around this place. He's hanging out. What the fuck are you doing? Rifling through the fucking oh, drawers? Yeah, let's, let's steal some post-its. <laughs> this is the... You are so bad at this. How bored are you? There's like 47 theme parks where you live, man. <laughs> 
and alligators. There's shit to do. He's got no no mask. He's wearing a shirt with an advertisement on it. Yeah. I would not be surprised to find out that's his own business. He's wearing sandals. <laughs> he, he's crawling out back through the hole. What the, the fuck is this guy? And there he goes with the generator. You're bad at crime. Do you not understand what surveillance video is? Apparently nobody does. Apparently nobody fucking does. I Like, I don't know how people don't understand in this day and age that if you're out in public, you're probably on camera. I, it's part of why I'm so fucking neurotic about my hair, even if we're just going to the store. Because there's footage. <laughs> And if I get fucking killed by a serial killer, that might be the footage they use to identify me. And I worry about that shit. Do you just think that, do you think there's like somebody in the back going to the oh oh she's on point? Yeah, she's she the styling's good. I like that. Yeah. Do you think there's just someone critiquing your hair? Yes. <laughs> Generally. Wait, where's this guy just smashed through the fucking I. All right, so your face is on camera. Your fingerprints are fucking everywhere. Yeah. Um, they know who you are. You're going you to might get... have strong business logo on your shirt. Even more, they they're gonna know how how much have you escalated this by breaking a hole in the fucking wall? Yeah. Uh why are people so bad at crime? I I am used to criminals who are like meti yeah. I'm used to criminals who like meticulously plot out how to avoid getting caught. Are you? Because we've been doing this a long time. I like fiction, Tara. I like fiction. I'm used to criminals that are fucking morons. They just think, yeah, I can do this. Why not? <laughs> evidence. Who gives a shit about evidence? Like, as far as I can tell, in reality. I could pull off Ocean's 8. <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that shit. But I'm not a functional moron. Which, when we're grading on a curve, makes me a super genius. One of those things that always scares me is, I know I am not a super smart dude. I know this. I am aware of this. I, I am accepting of my limitations and my place and things. What scares me is to realize how much stupider people are than I am. <clears throat> Cause I know where, where my points are. I, I do, I do dumb things all the fucking time. And I'm like, whoops. Like, have you ever, have you ever like come to a, a stop in your car and you're picking up your stuff and you're getting ready to go out and you haven't turned the car off and you haven't put it in park. Yeah. Yeah. And you're about to, and you, you're about to lift your foot off the, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. I am that kind of moron. I've tried to back out of my driveway without starting my car and wondered why my car won't go. And to understand there are people worse than me scares the living crap out of me. Yeah. Speaking of, our final story is in Arizona. Everyone said every it was like the Nash signal went off. Everyone, everyone. Ooh, and I usually don't click them because I don't super like to know what we're doing in advance. I don't know. You guys might not know this. I generally don't see the stories in advance. I do not write content because I'm lazy. And I, I literally just Skype in for half an hour. And that's what I contribute to this show. Nash does literally all the work. So usually you guys send me these and I don't click on them. Because I just go. Arizona man accidentally shoots himself in groin in Walmart. <clears throat> man was taken to a hospital in Arizona this week after shooting himself in the groin area inside a Walmart in Buckeye, Maricopa County. Hey, that's Sheriff Arp Arpaio, the jackass sheriff's. Territory. Not anymore. 
<clears throat> Local police department tweeted on Tuesday, officers are working with what appeared to be a self-inflicted accidental shooting inside the Watson and Yuma Walmart. Buckeye PD later confirmed in an update, adult male accidentally shot himself in groin inside the Walmart. Arizona Republic newspaper reported the incident occurred around 6.30 p.m. after a semi-automatic handgun that was being held in the man's waistband began to slip. The gun, which was not in a holster, discharged when he attempted to reposition it. And it's not in this article, but in one of the other articles, it, it pointed out that um, the gentleman in question had was shot in the groin while he was in the meat department. Oh. <laughs> so they were like trying to figure out which beats. Which stuff on the floor was ground Chuck and which was ground Bob? He was shot in the meat department. Oh, okay. Players no, for the, the... players for the New York Giants did this in a nightclub maybe ten years ago. I want to say, but he only he he it whatever the angle was, it shot him in the leg. Pretty much ended his career and he went to prison. Yeah, people are pointing out. You've always asked this. Why do you stuff? Right. That's Three the. Things. The front Every of time I see a dude do that on TV, I'm like, why? That's the last place you should put a fucking firearm. Yeah, I, I, people put it in the back of their pants, too, and I'm like, really? Really? You know what? <clears throat> You're going to miss an ass cheek a lot less, I think. Yeah. If you lose an ass cheek, you're going to look a little lopsided. As far as I can tell, dudes are really into your dicks. You're going to miss them when they're gone. So of all, for this to have happened, for one, he had to have turned Not the safety, safety off. No safety. Uh, loaded. Chambered. Yep. Round yep. in the chamber. Shoved down his pants. Down his pants. No holster. So every gun safety thing you're supposed to do with the fact you're carrying a lethal weapon on your person, legally or not, everything you're... None of it. Dan is asleep in the next room, but I bet you he's still angry. <laughs> like, I bet he can feel it. Because Dan is like Captain fucking gun safety. Like, he gets mad in movies when people don't observe gun safety. Like, when fake people don't observe good gun safety, he gets mad. Like, he does not fuck around with that shit. I just, so this story would just, like... <clears throat> I love that. It's like... He was shot in the meat department. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he definitely was. Yeah, he was. Normally, I don't do stories where people hurt themselves, but this this guy did everything so wrong. We are lucky it was just him. Because yeah. had he, instead of just repositioned and hit himself, he could have dropped that loaded, safety-off, round-chambered pistol... And someone else could be hurt right now. If you're going to shove a gun down your pants, why would you not have the safety on? I mean, of like, all the things. Why would you not take the mildest, tiniest precaution? It's, that, that, you, that's your dick, man. Just, you've got a... You've got a projectile moving at supersonic speed directed right at Mr. Happy. And depending on the type of bullet, Dan has taught me this. <clears throat> some bullets are made to give an in and out wound. And some are made to, when they get inside, either explode or bounce around for maximum damage. Which All of which is horrifying information to me, by the way. I don't know why any of this shit exists. It's oh, very upsetting to me. Hev points out somebody had to clean that up. Yeah, somebody had to clean up bits of this guy's fucking tackle. In the Walmart. At minimum, well, maybe a little higher than minimum wage these days, but still. Whatever it is, it, it's not enough. <laughs> clean up on aisle three has never sounded so bone chilling before. They were, I, I swear to God, the fucking people in the Walmart were like, no, no, it's your turn. No, yeah, no, fuck it. No, 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 no. You're, you're, they were like drawing straws and shit. I can tell you, like, we used to fight at the Old Navy over who had to clean up, like, baby vomit. 
somebody who blew his dick off, I would, I think I would just quit. <laughs> Fuck it, it's a mall. I can find another job, man. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, God. Uh, Aaron Moon says there's less messy ways to get piercings. <laughs> there are, yeah. That's not, yeah, it's not really going to be precise either. Oh. So, yeah, the, the first thing we've learned this week is... Fucking gun safety! Seriously, if you... You know what? Like it or not, guns are legal in America, but if you're gonna fucking do it... Do it Sign right. Up, yeah. Fucking knob. Yeah, yes. Or lose your fucking knob. Yeah. Your choice. <laughs> Cause that it's just uh Simba, come here. Why are you hiding from me? I mean, we're we're very lucky that, that that's all that happened. It could have been so much worse. Yeah. Um we have learned that uh if you're gonna do crimes, accessorize. Yeah. At least dress accordingly. Yeah, a little mask, some yeah. sensible shoes. Black is very slimming and also harder to show up. Pants that don't fall fold off. Down. Yeah, a belt. Belt's always good. Yeah. Um, Maybe a lock instead of just Kool Aid Manning through the <laughs> wall. Oh yeah! No, that's no. It's, yeah. Um, we have learned that. You can get 10 teenagers to do the stupidest shit with the minimum of coaxing. Yeah. Anytime I hear one of those, these are what the kids are doing now stories, the first thing I'm like, yeah, they probably are. Yeah. They probably are. I believe it. I don't care how crazy it is. They're shotgunning God, uh, fucking uh, salt mixed with chili peppers. And they're shooting it up their nose and putting it in their ears. Yeah, they probably are. That's probably. That sounds right. Yeah. They're um, just dipping their whole heads in hydrochloric acid. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. We've learned that um, referencing a Jim Carrey movie is not a get out of jail free. No. I don't. Probably into jail free. <laughs> I don't know how that would even work. Um. Circling my feet, giving me the big eyes. We've learned that uh, if you dealt it, don't pull a knife. No. Just grace, grace Learn and apology. Feel humiliation graciously. Yes. <laughs> not with a fucking. We've learned beer is not free, even if you have a flamethrower. <laughs> no. Uh, that's that is not part of the social compact. Fire is not legal tender. And finally. Start the clock. We are three days since it officially went up. Three days. The uh, the goat is up. We're going to see. I think see. the goat's going to make it this year. You think? Yeah. We should have like a betting pool. No, we shouldn't, Tara. We should do like the like. What do they call it? Cow pie bingo. You're done. Cow pie bingo. No. So cow pie bingo. Is a ridiculous activity wherein they take a large field and they spray paint squares all over it, basically. And they cover the field in basically a checkerboard. And then they release a cow into the field and you bet on a square. And whichever square the cow poops in, you win. If it's your square, you win money. It's really should be called cow pie roulette. I don't know why they went with bingo, but whatever. And that's an actual thing that people do for enjoyment. They bet money on where in a field a cow will shit. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You it's are. A thing. You are. It's a fucking thing. It's a thing. You can look it up. I promise you. No. But we could do like, you could pick a day on the calendar for like which day the goat will burn or you can bet on not at all. Great. We're going to have an arson advent calendar. Yeah. That's that's beautiful. <laughs> Tis the fucking season. Yeah.